Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for the divisional round of the playoffs, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools right here. You see all these tabs here. It has a lot of great tools to help you make your picks. So the wild card weekend is done. We are down to eight teams left to see who's going to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to pick the games for Sunday. There are games for Saturday, but this is Friday, so I don't want to do Saturday's games for you at the last minute. So this recording is on Friday. This is for Sunday's games in the NFL, and there's two of them to take a look at. So we're going to look at Tampa Bay and Detroit. Tampa Bay comes in winners of the NFC South, and they beat the Philadelphia Eagles by a 32-9 score last week, while the Detroit Lions won their division as well, the NFC North. And they came off of a narrow 24-23 win over the Rams last week in the wild card round. You see both teams coming in burning hot. The Lions are home favorites with odds of minus 257 to plus 227. That's a point spread of 6.5 points and the over-under is set at 49.5. You see that Detroit has a 68% chance right here. Um, if you take a look at the over-under, Tampa Bay involved in games under the line in the last three. Detroit in two out of the last three, under. You notice that Detroit is a five-star game-winning pick, and uh, the five-star home favorites in a burning hot status are five and three over the last month. But also notice that Detroit has won 80% in the favorite status in the last five games, but Tampa Bay has covered in 80% in their last five games as an underdog. So a lot of interesting uh, information here in the hot trend section. The score prediction has Detroit by a 39 to 17 blowout. Confidence in predictions about 70%. If you look at the head-to-head uh, -head matchup between the two teams, you can see earlier in the season, back on October 15th, Detroit won handily by 14 points as a road favorite. On the power ranks indicator, you can see up and downward trend, but Detroit is up to plus 29, while Tampa Bay has been steady at plus 16 over the last, almost last week now. If you look at the stability factor, the two teams have been Pretty consistent. Uh, Detroit more so than Tampa Bay. Detroit uh, plus nine. You can see stability factor for Tampa Bay plus four. And in fact, they were plus five uh, about a month and a half ago. So they've not been very stable over the last month and a half of the season. If you take a look at the movements in the money line, let's see if there has been any movements at all in the money line. You can see it open. This is the Detroit money line. Opened at 1.3. And you look at all the movement here. There's been several uh, movements here. Look at all those green arrows. All the green arrows are sharp move detected in favor of Detroit. That has happened one, two, three, four, five, six times. There's been some movement against Detroit as well. That's happened, you know, several times as well. So even though after all this movement, the line is pretty much back to where it started at 1.389. So the way I'm looking at this is I like Detroit Lions to advance to the NFC Championship in this one. I mean, Tampa Bay's played well. But I think Detroit at home is going to be too tough for them. I think they're going to win by a touchdown. And I think it's going to be a lower scoring game, though. So let's go with Detroit and under the line. The next game is the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. The defending Super Bowl champions coming in burning hot. Winners of their last three. Buffalo is burning hot as well. They won their last five regular season games. Both teams won in the wild card round. Buffalo taking down uh, Pittsburgh by a touchdown, 30, uh, two touchdowns, 31-17. to 17. Whereas Kansas City took down Miami pretty easily in that frigid uh, game there, uh, Kansas City, 26-7. Uh, to 7. So the odds are in favor of Buffalo, minus 140 to plus 126. The line is at 2.5 points, and the over-under is at 45.5. You see Buffalo is a four-star game-winning pick. The Bills have won f uh, all of their last five games as a favorite. And... Um, Kansas City has covered the spread in four of their last five games as an underdog, so take a look at those hot trends. The score prediction is for Buffalo in a, in a blowout, 31-17, which would uh, give a game over the line. Confidence in the prediction is 72%. If you look here at the over-under, though, Kansas City has been involved in games under the line in their last four, whereas Buffalo over the line in three out of their last four. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Kansas City on on an upward trend up to plus 28. Buffalo has been on a steady climb since December the 10th. They were at 14 then, and now a little over a month later, they're up to the top at plus 31. Right now, they look like the, to be the team to beat. In the head-to-head -head matchup, Buffalo also beat Kansas City earlier in the season as a road underdog by a 20-17 to 17 score. 
if you take a look at the stability factor, you can see that uh, both teams are pretty stable. Um, not as much for Kansas City. They're only plus three. And they were as high as plus five back on October 26th. And uh, Buffalo has been steadily increasing in their stability. They are now at plus six. If you take a look now at the money line, you can see that there hasn't been a whole lot, a whole lot of movement in the line. Uh, let's take a look here. You see here the line started at 1.719, and it's pretty much staying where it was. There's a little bit of movement throughout the week, but not much. It's now at 1.731. So in the end, I do like Buffalo. I don't think that the Chiefs are going to continue as champions. It's very hard to repeat as champions. I don't think Buffalo is going to lose this one at home. They're very hot team. The the you know the line is very low at two and a half points. I think uh, Buffalo, you know, covers the line. I think it's going to be at least a field goal game, maybe a touchdown. But in the end, I like Buffalo to win this one. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So let's go Buffalo to win and cover in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the two games for the NFL for Sunday, January 21st. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.